I'm Tanya Gallagher, and I'm here to talk to you about some other cool CQL functionality that you really should know about before you begin creating your data model in earnest. So what are we going to cover in the next few sections? Well, first, we will talk about why you want to know about this stuff in the first place and how it's going to help you when you build your data model. Then, we will move on to the collection data types that Apache Cassandra offers. From here, we will move into how you can create your own flexible data types using user-defined types, or for short, UDTs. Then we will introduce counters, which includes what they are, how to implement them, and what to watch out for. We will round off these few sections with user-defined functions and user-defined aggregates. These get a little bit more complicated, but provide flexibility on every side. So why are we talking about these now? We haven't even built our data model. However, there is some stuff that you have to do to your tables before you can implement these things. Let's jump right in. All right, so why do you care about collections, counters, UDTs, UDFs, and UDAs in the first place? Before you start any major project, it is best to know what tools you have in your toolbox. Knowing about these things before you build your actual data model allows you to make some design decisions early on. For example, you might end up with fewer tables knowing that you can store collections. You might simplify your table design, and maybe you can get away with fewer tables. In other words, knowing what these things are and how to use them could entirely change your data model. You want to pre-optimize your data model as much as you can before you start loading it up with data. 